involved in it, uh, like uh, Al Gore and, of course, uh, Barack Obama. This is the biggest joke in the world, literally paying them to be able to breathe. Uh, I, I want to finish this video, but I'm going to be covering it more on the radio today, 4 to 6 p.m. Sundays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central uh, weekdays. You can check your Greenwich Mean Time worldwide if you want, but the point is we're always restreaming the latest show at InfoWars.com. But, but I had this epiphany today studying anthropology and also archaeology, uh, a few of my little side uh, hobby pastimes to understand uh, human development that the globalists push social Darwinism, saying no matter how many people we kill, no matter what evil things we do, it's good in the end because it's survival of the fittest and you deserve to be slaves. But in truth, what they've done is if you go back to ancient tribes, it was the strong, the intelligent, the folks that knew, you knew how to advise the tribe, who were the leaders. And if they became abusive of the tribe, they would be overthrown. And it wasn't until agrarian society started forming about 10,000 years ago and then city-states 6,000 years ago that things shifted from leaders being who really was the smartest, the most intelligent, the best leaders, the best fighters, the old kings, to the priest class who studied the tribe itself and learned how to manipulate the, the tribe and, and, and make people superstitious and dumb down. And that's when this subgroup, and that's what the globalists in their own writings say, that they're really a separate species when the subgroup of parasitic uh, uh, type cultures, and, and this goes you know across the globe, every every group and region has their own ruling elite, but they all operate the same, like a like a tropism, like you know the growth of a plant towards the sun. It, it's their way, where these guilds of psychopaths and ruthless control freaks have a leg up on everybody because they study how humans operate and engage in all of these scams. Instead of humans, you know, following and supporting by example, people that are true leaders and honest and good and honorable, now the opposite is honored, dishonor, corruption, evil. These people control the narcotics trade. Uh, they are setting up the police state grid. They control the arms trade. They are parasites. They are psychopaths. Uh, and they've institutionalized their global view of death and destruction in this neo-feudalistic uh, Neo-Malthusian eugenic system and they are teaching guilds of millions of academics and bureaucrats that this is a good thing to save the earth to institutionalize absolute 21st century rapine, total and absolute despotism. We'll cover more of it at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, but please warn everyone you know about these disgusting hypocrites that openly want to shut off uh, our infrastructure, our energy systems that sell the fake peak oil lies about energies running out so they can create artificial scarcity. It is a total and complete scam. See, they can't make oil illegal like they made drugs illegal so they could jack up the price and control it. So they're just going to regulate it and, and, and 